All right, guys. Had to go buy new tools today. I hate it when I gotta buy tools. Never, not actually. I'm, I love tools. So anyways, I went and bought one of these uh, today. So my Snap-on borescope uh, broke a while ago and I called the Snap-on guy and I actually would have bought a Snap-on one, uh, but he didn't have one. So um, instead of spending, I think it's like $1,400, I bought one of these that just takes a 12 volt battery, um, or sorry, nine volt battery, it doesn't take the 12 volt um, style. Um, there again, the reason I bought this one was it was cheap um, and I did use it today. Um, I used it working on uh, an FORD Ford, um, doing injector cups to make sure that the injector cups were clean. And I realized that I should have videotaped doing that and I didn't, but anyways. So, um, but I wanted to do just a little tool review on this. Um, you know, so I pulled it out of the box, it comes with a bag, which I thought was kind of cool. It did come with a battery. Um, I just, you know what I mean? I, I guess for you guys that are at my age or older, um, you probably remember the time when nothing came with batteries. So whenever I buy something that I know takes a battery, uh, it's like, oh, I didn't buy a battery. Now you're searching around and there, there was a battery in the box or in the bag. So that was cool. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the camera. So if you're looking for a uh, reasonable priced uh, bore scope so you, know, you can get in somewhere and look at stuff, um, this was, now this is in Canadian dollars. I don't know what they're worth US. I'll actually put a link down in the description if I can find one on Amazon uh, for any of you guys that want to help support the channel if you want to buy one. Um, this was a $150 Canadian plus tax. Um, so a reasonable price, especially considering the Snap-on one is like fourteen hundred. So uh, definitely considerable price difference, um, or at least the one that I was looking at. They probably have more than one. The one I was looking at. Um, the only thing that I that kind of sucks about it is the size of this uh, of the actual camera. Um, but there again, for the price, cash you can't really complain. Um, and there is cheap ones of these on Amazon. Uh, that have small ones and you can plug it into your phone. I think there's ones you can get Bluetooth. I didn't, never use one of those. I prefer to have something like this. Then you don't need your phone. You don't need to have any extra stuff. Uh, but the only thing with this is that it won't go down a, an injector hole uh, unless you have a non-intercooled VE, then it will. Uh, but anyways, nonetheless, um, that's the only downside of this one if you wanted to go down a hole. But if you wanted to go down a spark plug hole or something, uh, this would fit no problem, obviously. Um, something it did come with, uh, which is this little doojiggy here, um, which I believe what it basically what it is, is it just goes over top of the camera. So if you wanted to put it like, let's say in a piece of pipe or something, you can put it in there and then you can kind of rock it back and forth and it's not going to be, you know, like in the, in the crap that's in there. Right. So I didn't use that for this. Um, I left it off. I think I'll just leave it on there for now and then I don't lose it. Um, so, you know, it's super easy to use. It's on and off button, uh, has a light. Turn it up and down. One thing that I do wish that it had, uh, if Milwaukee, if you're watching, I wish that you could, if it had a button, I realize it's $150, so it's not an expensive one, but it would be awesome if you had a button so that you could take the screen and flip it. So when you're down inside a hole, let's say, you know, you're, you're down inside a hole and you're trying to clean something, you know, you're trying to clean down inside the hole, let's say, uh, for argument's sake, you're trying, you know, you're, you're, this is the hole and you're looking down inside the hole and you got a, a you know, screwdriver in there trying to clean the hole out. Um, I was using a pick. That's the reason I was, I'm saying this today. Um, I was, I was down in there, you know, monkeying around trying to clean the bottom of the cup surface off or where the cup sits in the head. Um, and what I ended up actually doing, what, if it had a screen, if the screen, you could invert the screen with a push button, or even if you could just invert the screen or something, basically what I did was is I put it upside down, which gives you the illusion of it being the right way. Um, so it's easier, uh, you know, like for guys that, you know, I, I don't do this much anymore. So it's hard, you know, you, ha you have to go the opposite way. You're upside and back, upside down and backwards. So if you do this, it's way easier. Now, um, I know with the snap on, the new snap on one, I believe that you can invert the screen, I believe. But anyways, uh, nonetheless, if it, you could invert the screen, that'd be super cool. That would make this thing like 10 times better, I think. And then obviously if these were changeable on it, that would make it 10 times better. I would have paid, gladly paid, 
you know, three, four hundred dollars for this. If this had a removable end that went down to, to five mil and had the uh, a, a flip screen or an option to flip the screen, um, like no questions asked because it makes it a way more easier to use and a lot nicer. Nonetheless, but for the price, fantastic product. Um, it works really well, it takes a nine volt battery. It's easy to operate, three buttons. You know, it's not rocket science. You don't have to read a manual to try to figure out how it works. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me down in the comments, like, subscribe. Um, and you know, we'll probably do some more tool reviews. As I buy stuff, I'm gonna do tool reviews. And then I will do tool reviews later, um, you know, after I use the tool for a year maybe or whatever. Um, I'll do tool reviews on stuff. Um, just to show you guys, uh, you know, quality. I will too. I will do some tool reviews for you guys that um, want to see um, that type of stuff. You know, uh, longevity and all that type of jazz. Um, now, I literally just bought this today, so I don't know how long it's going to last. And this isn't something that you use. Well, okay, something that I'm not going to use constantly. The average dude in his garage is not going to use this constantly. But when you need this to find a bolt or try to find a leak or something, this is worth its weight in gold. Uh, so for you guys that are working on stuff all the time, I personally would have one of these. I, did away, I didn't have one for probably close to a year and I cursed myself every time I needed it. Um, so anyways, catch you on the next one.